Hey YouTube, well, I did something because I have a radio now, however, um, when I put the key in and try to start it, I got nothing, it just kills everything, so I have a bad ground or something somewhere, um, I've got to figure out what it is, I don't know where it is. Basically, what I did was I took a set of jumper cables, connected it to the negative side of the battery, and then connected it to, I sanded uh, down to bare metal, and connected the other side to the chassis of the truck, or the frame of the truck. And that should, if there's a ground, say, hey, I got a bad ground somewhere and I got to fix it. Because by adding that extra line, well, it should allow the truck to crank, but uh, it doesn't do any of that. So um, I've got something off somewhere, but I don't know where. This line is 12 volts coming from the ignition switch. And it tells the solo or the relay here to click on to start the truck. Well, I wasn't getting 12 volts here. I uh, found out that my DTR, digital transmission range sensor, which is on the driver's side of the transmission right under the floor pan was not lined up properly. So I fixed that. My dad's fixing the terminal because it's rotted off and hopefully the truck will crank. All right, well, you can see I've got an extension here. This was just too short and it fell off on me when I bumped into it. So I'm glad I found that now. Um, basically, I've got an ad put the clamps back on and it's all set. I mean, it's even without the clamps, you can see it's even tighter than it was before, so.